Hi everyone, welcome back to Kim Help ASAP. In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step step how I determine my sig figs from my previous video, which can be found right here. Okay, let's start determining sig figs. You can see my problem here in its entirety. I started with my 3.56 grams of silver. That number has three sig figs. My molar mass of silver has six sig figs. The operation I am using here is multiplication division. So the rule I use is whichever number has the fewest number of sig figs, that is how many sig figs my answer is going to have. So in my case, that means that my three here, my grams of silver, is gonna limit me. So I need to round the answer that my calculator gave me to three sig figs. Remember, this first zero is not significant. Therefore, I am going to round to this decimal place. That gives me three sig figs. This makes my final answer 0 0.0330 moles of silver. Here are my three significant digits. If you have any questions on how to count sig figs, you can always check out my playlist on sig figs up here in the upper right hand corner. Let's take a look at problem number two. I first need to check my molar mass. So in molar mass, be careful, you are doing addition subtraction here, so your rules are different. You need to find your number with the fewest decimal places, and that is going to tell you how many decimal places your answer should have. So I have three decimal places here, also three here, and three again here. So this makes this calculation quite easy. My answer should have three decimal places. Yes, it does. So I know that my molar mass I'm using has the correct number of sig figs. Okay, let's move on to the calculation. My 12.48 grams of sodium carbonate, that has four sig figs. My molar mass has six sig figs. And the version of Avogadro's number that I'm using also has six sig figs. Now I'm applying my rules for multiplication division. I'm looking for the number with the fewest sig figs. That is going to be my 12.48 grams of sodium carbonate. So my final answer should have four sig figs. Of course, my calculator gives me way more than that. So I need to round to four sig figs, which means I am going to round right here. So my final answer here you can see has four sig figs. Let's take a look at our last problem. Okay, again, I'm going to check my molar mass. Remember, you're using addition subtraction, so you're checking for decimal places. I have three decimal places here, also three, three, and three again. So I should have three in my final answer. Yes, I have three decimal places in my final answer. My molar mass has the correct number of sig figs. Now let's look at my calculation. I started with my 1.897 times 10 to the 24th molecules. That has four sig figs. Avogadro's number, again, has six sig figs. And my molar mass also has six sig figs. Because I'm doing multiplication division, I need the number with the fewest sig figs. That is going to be this one right here. So my answer should have four sig figs. Of course, my calculator does not give me four sig figs, but this is an easier one to round. I just need to drop that three. Therefore, this is my final answer. Of course, you could convert it to scientific notation. If you need to brush up on your sig figs, you can check out my playlist right here on that. Now, the most important thing to remember is keep track of what mathematical operation you are doing so you can apply the correct set of sig fig rules. It's very easy to get your rules flip-flopped. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks so much for watching.